scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. When Jesus gave us his name, find out what the name did before he died. Find out what... You see, the name he gave us is not the one that was used when he was walking on earth is the name that was given after the coronation was over and he gave us that office listen carefully if say for instance i have a wristwatch here and let's assume this wristwatch is say a security wristwatch that whoever wears this wristwatch will be treated like joshua selman are we together now if i remove this wristwatch and i give someone when the person wears that wristwatch there are security doors is that true come on technology all you need to do is use your palms or use something like this so i have this watch connected and it opens the security door and someone else wears it even if it's a baby and the baby plays around the door the door does not know the difference between the baby and the owner whoever is the wearer of that security mechanism the door was designed to open for him so when jesus walked upon the earth he used his name he sent the disciples that means listen carefully when you stand in the name of jesus exactly what would have happened if jesus were there is what should happen now that you are there in his name someone may have a parcel for me and say joshua selman i have this for you and i can say sorry i may not be able to come but i'm going to send someone if I send that one, the person will collect the parcel. Is that true? There are politicians who send people to represent them. And when you are quoting them, you will say, the governor said this. Even though the governor was not there. If the person makes a mistake of donating something that he did not discuss with the governor, as far as the state is concerned, they will say, governor, you donated 50 million. Where's our money? He will have to pay and go and flog it out with whoever misrepresented him. But as far as the state is concerned, governor, if you are a man of integrity, you must bring that money. So when you stand and look at demons, by age, they are older than you. By experience, from a human standpoint, they have it more than you. But you call on a name. I told you that God sits on an altar. That, that covenant of his name is not an emotional thing. It has nothing to do whether your voice is sounding nice or not. It has nothing to do whether you are wearing jean trouser or you are wearing suit. Once you invoke that office, the power behind that office is released immediately. The name of Jesus. Someone shout the name of Jesus. I know what the name of Jesus is able to do. That office. Ephesians 1.21 tells us he has been exalted. Ephesians 1.21. Far above principality. These are offices too. Far above powers. Offices. Far above might and dominion and every other office. Not only in this world, but in the world that is to come. You can arrange thrones, you can arrange names, but none will come and stand before the name of Jesus. Can I tell you this? When you stand and rebuke demon spirits just because you are a Christian, you will be surprised how they will look at you 
and not even respond to you but you come by the name blessed is he who comes in the name this is the reason why we stand with authority and say in the name of Jesus Satan demons yokes we command you go and we expect compliance because the power that backs us my name does not carry much power as a human being there are many other people carrying my name but there's no other person who sits in that office Christ himself sits alone and he's now brought us to be partakers of that name say I am a partaker of the name listen you are not just a partaker of the of of the nature you are also a partaker of the office seated with Christ it is called number three number three the last is called the power or the blood the blood oh dear I feel so sad eh? I wish I had the time to pieces this thing for you the blood but let's see what we can do we're ready for the communion now we'll pray somebody is 10 or 15 minutes left to wave something that 100 years 100 years 50 years could not wait I'm not entertaining you believe me hmm. the accuser of the brethren finds a way to come before the holy judge you know the song points a finger at the faults and failings of the saints won't you judge them now but i have an advocate in heaven's courts my redeemer and the high priest of my soul jesus christ the lamb the holy lamb of god nathaniel bassi's song very very powerful song Eternal saving blood I don't have to cry For you have paid the price Sit down Let me teach you something about blood Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11 For the life of the flesh is in the blood what is in blood life say life what when you hold your atm what is in your atm you see that now there is something that is captured in your atm are we together now yes the blood of anything carries the life of that thing not just the blood of jesus the blood of a goat is where the life of a goat flows. The blood of a human is where his human life flows. There is a relationship between blood and life. Blood represents life. Write it down, please. Blood represents life. This is the first quick information I want you to know about blood. And this life is in levels. This life that is in the blood is in levels. Now, the second thing I want you to know about blood. From scripture, blood has always been used as a ransom. Write the word ransom. Very powerful word. Ransom. R-A-N-S-O-M. You know what a ransom is look up a ransom is the payment you make to release someone in captivity 
when they kidnap someone unfortunately like we have around our region the terrorists or kidnappers for whatever reason they demand a ransom that money that purchasing power that you bring to give them then they release the captive is found in blood so blood is currency in the realm of the spirit the same way naira and kobo and dollars and pounds are in the physical realm naira is actually an instrument of settlement and purchase in the realm of the spirit that you can use blood like you use money to buy things is called redemption when you redeem a thing you buy it back number one when you redeem a thing to redeem means to compensate for a default the idea of redemption talks of compensation a system of compensation for a default to redeem also means to regain possession to regain possession so blood has the purchasing power blood has the power of appeasal it can bring to an end contentions why am i teaching you about the blood before we take the communion proverbs chapter 26 and verse 2 is a very powerful and profound spiritual law please look up and read it as loud as you can ready one to go as the bird by wandering as swallowed so a cause causeless shall not stand do you know what this means that means anytime a cause anytime any kind of demonic thing comes if there is no legal basis it will not work so the fact that it works it means that there is a cause because a curse causeless shall not stand now hear me as powerful as the name of Jesus is when it has to do with dealing with matters of legalities in the spirit listen very carefully it is true that the word of God is powerful it is true that the name is powerful but there is a legal system in the realm of the spirit I told you here that ransom means the payment to bring a pizza because of a default when man fell we willingly gave our authority we willingly gave our lives we willingly submitted ourselves to the influence of satan he became the god of this world even the prince of the power of the air the spirit that now walks in the sons of disobedience now i have taught you in, in the, the previous series that many of these our precious forefathers and many of in ignorance many of them legitimately invited satan and through medium and priests and whatever it is they entered covenants seeking assistance from the realm of the spirit knowing that a body without a spirit is dead because they did not know the one true god satan masquerading as god came and deceived them and most of them willingly handed over i hope you know i taught you last week the blood in you now i hope you know that your blood is older than you except you don't believe biology because it was because of that blood that you came the blood was already there for you to have arrived is that true without that blood you would not be born by one man's sin and then through the means of reproduction by blood the sin nature continued to multiply and you know that the blood from a child medical doctors teach us that it comes from the man that was why God did not allow any man play the fatherly role of Jesus the Holy Ghost himself there was no problem having an earthly woman since the blood comes from man if a man participated in the birth of Jesus he would be born as sin immediately he would not even need any communion because he's already sin so he came as the sinless one are we together now that is the qualification 
that the kind of appeasal that the yokes and the causes and the covenants demand based on the legal system of heaven it will require blood that did not come from a human male and that is impossible based on the law of reproduction so the holy spirit came and played that fatherly role jesus came although with a human body but not blood from a mortal man understand this very carefully i'm building for you the case why the blood of jesus is so precious so that is god's blood is that true because <laughs> When Jesus Christ, listen carefully, I told you that blood has a measure of purchasing power. When Jesus Christ gave his blood, because his blood is a representation of his life, when he gave that life, he was sinless. That means he was not deserving of judgment. Are we together now? And watch the wisdom. Even though it was God that allowed Jesus to die. But Jesus made sure that Satan played a role in his dying. Why? Because somebody is about to be blamed. And when Satan was moving through men, he was happy doing what he was doing to kill Jesus. Of course, Satan would not kill him. You know what I mean? To participate in the flesh in crucifying him. When you kill an innocent man, listen carefully when you kill an innocent man according to the law of scripture the blood of that man starts crying and when it cries god will hear and whatever the blood says to do it will be done cain and abel is that true abel was dead but his blood cried now when satan did all that he did the blood of jesus started crying and instead of crying to say avenge me he says no as a reward for killing an innocent man release the one who is guilty you see now release the one who is guilty so every time satan stands before you and claims that it is true that your fathers worship idols and based on legal grounds you should not experience breakthrough you should experience barrenness you tell him you are right if i'm the only one who is going to fight this case but i have an advocate are we together now this is very powerful the blood of jesus is the legal system that breaks every hold every hold of covenants and ordinances that speak against the saints how does that happen by reminding satan that if it was just for the guiltless to become guilty then it is just for the guilty to become guiltless very simple equation you have to understand this about blood the blood of jesus speaks it speaks mercy for the saints it speaks release for the saints but it speaks judgment for satan and his cohorts and now watch this the blood of jesus is even an overpayment because whatever it is that gave the devil legal access every blood came by earthly stands whether animals or men but the blood of jesus was not of an earthly origin are we together now so there is no bill that that blood cannot pay are we together how many of you are trusting god for financial breakthrough okay drop your hands you are going to understand what i'm teaching you now if elon musk or bill gates gives you access to his resources question relative to what he has and relative to your bills will it become a concern again are we together probably what you will spend in a day is what summarizes your entire bills so that is an overpayment now when you hold that if anybody looks at you and say i remember you owed me five years will you run no what is there is sufficient you can even tell him i can i can bless you 
and still punish you and forgive you and bless you because of what I have. Now listen, listen to me. The blood of Jesus is not just sufficient to pay for sin. It is more than sufficient. Are we together now? And then instead of speaking judgment to us, it now speaks mercy. And the blood of Jesus is the basis for the ministry of mercy. How do you apply the blood? Listen very carefully. When Satan, who is the accuser of the brethren, now comes as his culture is to accuse you of anything and then to make demands that on legal basis, what was agreed by covenants of fathers and witchcraft should happen to you. When you invoke the blood, what happens is you disappear in the spirit from that scene and Jesus is the one who stands there now. When Jesus stands there, Satan says, it's not you I'm talking to. This is the person I'm talking to. But he now says, the person has invited me. I gave him authorization to invite me. What then is your accusation against me? And he remembers that there is no accusation that he could bring before Jesus. Remember when Jesus stood before Pontius Pilate? It was an adumbration of man. They tried to bring accusations, but nothing could stand. Listen, believers, if you do not understand the power of the blood, there cannot be redemption. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7, as we prepare to take the communion and pray, the Bible says we have redemption. Ephesians 1, 7, we have redemption. I told you what it means to redeem. To redeem means to buy back, to reclaim ownership. And that happened through his blood. Even the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches, the wealth of his grace. So I can stand before that demon spirit and say it is true that based on the ordinances of the fathers, I deserve to live a defeated life. But I'm standing here, it is by the blood. And the moment I invoke the blood, the case is not about me again. The case is about Jesus. And the moment Jesus shows up, there is absolutely no accusation. As simple as what I'm saying is, Satan dreads your knowledge of this. Do you know why? Because you will be learning that the blood does not speak empty. There is a system of compliance to what the blood says. When the blood says you are not guilty, it does not stop there. There is a system that galvanizes all the forces in heaven to make sure that what the blood has said concerning you remains true over your life. The blood of Jesus is powerful. This is what I found. When I found this, I ran and I stood. I say you may have legal access. I don't even know who my forefathers are. I don't know what they worshipped. I only had they worship idols. They worshipped all kinds of things. But now I have come. And I come by the blood. I come by the blood. I come by the blood. When Satan looks for me, he does not find me. But he will find Jesus there. And Jesus will ask him, what are you looking for? And he says, I'm looking for a young man connected to a lineage that should authorize failure. And he says, he's no more here. That person died. Didn't you see him? I have been crucified with Christ. Listen. Can I tell you this? The blood is proof that Jesus died. Is that true? And when he died, it was the appeasal. Because remember, the last enemy to be destroyed is death. That means ultimately, Satan wants to get that dominion, but his primary assignment is after getting every other thing, he kills you. The blood proves that Jesus died, but the blood proves that you died too. Do you know what that means? When Satan comes to accuse you and you bring the blood, that means the blood says this case has been judged already. Why are you revisiting a case that has been judged? The criminal who offended you has actually died. But it's just that you are not the one who died. The person who died gave you the blood as evidence to say the price has been paid. Listen, if you owe somebody and the person says you owe me one million and I carry my one million and give you 
and you give the person did you pay for it yes it may not be your money but as far as payment is done if the person comes to accuse you and says it is not your money i know you don't have money it is my responsibility to now defend you who gave you the money is not the issue payment was made this is the receipt so the blood is proof that somebody died and hear me hear me every time you see death and blood it proves that it was not a normal blood a normal death he was killed people in intelligence come and when they investigate and they see dead body the moment they see blood is most likely murder someone killed him a normal death will not easily bring blood out the blood of Jesus is not just proof that he died it's proof he was killed the question is who killed him whoever killed him is the person who killed me too and so there is a serious case of accusation here I have been crucified with Christ when he died I died when that price was paid in him and through his blood this entire price was paid now Satan does not have any legitimate ground look this thing is so simple but it can keep you in bondage forever I need no other argument I need no other plea it is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me one more time I need no other argument I need no other plea it is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me please lift up your communion if you don't have one please just wave it wave your hand and the ushers will reach you if there's anyone who does not have the communion like this all those who are following from their homes you can get a communion set anything at all bread wafers whatever it is we want to invoke this mystery of the blood very quickly and then I pray liberty in this kingdom is through the blood a compensation for our defaults to regain possession of us we are now his property John chapter 6 while standing everyone please very quickly John 6 from verse 48 I'll read two scriptures and we'll take the communion I'll speak over our lives and then we are done but not done with your testimonies it will just be beginning I am the bread of life next verse it says your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead this is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die reading to 58 i am the living bread which came down from heaven if any man eat this bread he shall live forever and the bread that i will give is my flesh which i will give for the life of the world the jews therefore strove among themselves saying how can this man give us his flesh to eat then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, listen, and drink his blood, ye have no life. Except you eat his flesh and drink his blood, you have no life. Are we together? Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. 46. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. This in theology is called the doctrine of interpenetration. It's the mystery by which two people come into one. It's the same mystery that happens in marriage. When you say two have become one. That by the mystery of the communion, it reenacts your oneness. That anything that is not in Christ should not be found in you. It enforces that oneness. 
57 as the living father had sent me and i live by the father so he that eateth me shall live by me 58 this is the bread which came down from heaven not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead he that eateth of this bread shall live forever one more scripture first corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23 first corinthians 11 23 for i have received of the lord he said paul is speaking now which i also delivered unto you that the lord jesus christ the same night which he was betrayed he took bread and when he had given thanks he break it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you he says do this not when you are hungry do this not when you think you need food do this with a consciousness that you are not only remembering me you are remembering that sacrifice that I died for you I paid that price for you 25 it says and after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me verse 26 for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you do show that you have respect for the lord's death you invoke through this mystery the reality of the power that was released in his death and by that blood listen many people take communion in church just because they agree up knowing that it's a sacrament to be honored this you see right now is just an ordinary drink that was made by a professional caterer this wafers here was made by someone else this does not have any power on its own everything christ paid for everything the blood of jesus has released me from i declare that he who the son sets free is free indeed and you begin to speak and release yourself and we pray are you ready for that lift it up please everyone father you gave us this as a practice of faith that as often as we take this with understanding we do this discerning your body father this is ordinary wafers and this is an ordinary drink but i pray in the name of jesus christ that the spirit of grace will rest upon this by reason of this communion oh god i pray that yokes and causes and covenants that have tied people down i will not let them rise sabotaging their liberty in the spirit i pray that as they take this let an end come to it now all the ordinances of the fathers in the name of jesus this is the blood that speaketh better things we have been redeemed 
by the blood we take this with understanding that this now is no longer an earthly substance that this is a representation of the blood of jesus and the bread which is jesus himself and i decree and declare in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit that we take this with understanding and let it begin to produce great miracles in our lives in jesus name i pray now i'll give you five minutes please just open gently when you take it just begin to pray you don't have to throw it please be patient ushers as soon as they take it just begin to pass the bucket so that they can put it and then you begin to blast in tongues in jesus name Begin to pray. Something is happening here now. Begin to pray. Something is happening right now. Just help those under the anointing. My God, something is happening here. An end is coming right now. Atmosphere shift now. Chains be broke. Break now. Holy Spirit. Heaven open. I want you to shout this loud and clear. Just help those under the anointing. Say, Father, I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life, over my destiny, I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority Redeemed by the blood. Shabakatos kata branta kaparukata. Eprakatos kati lakatos. You have no legal hold over my life. You have no legal hold. The blood speaks. The blood speaks. The blood speaks. You have no legal hold over my life. The blood speaks. be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny Hallelujah.
Say in the name of Jesus. Covenants of delay. Covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression. Covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare, be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Be broken. Ordinances of fathers. Tying down the destinies of God's people. Be broken. Be broken. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. The ransom has been paid. A bezel has been made. The Father is satisfied. Shabakata bakatos koto frente kete, ekra kata barakatos koto frente kete lekatosia, embra kapa katos koto prekete lekete bariakata, shane kete shara katos koto frente kete balakata. Hallelujah! Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame, seasons of embarrassment, seasons of retrogression by the power of the blood come to an end in my life now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame, reproach, embarrassment come to an end in the name of Jesus. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word i call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the spirit of god relationships by the spirit of god resources by the spirit of god mantles by the spirit of god Ebrakatos koto brakatos kati malakata shabrekete pata restoration by the spirit of God 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 restoration Hallelujah Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me in the name of Jesus. The spirit of the waster. Listen, listen. Your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste lives, resources. Say again in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster. The spirit of untimely death. The spirit of infirmity i challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the lord rebuke you
the spirit of the waster ke baraka toshko to brande ke para ekreka taskatela kata shubre here makapranda kata barata you are caused by the god of heaven hallelujah shout it after me say in the name of jesus my place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens i decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny i take my place in life i take my place in destiny never will it be said adam where are you i take my place Aleda kaparu kaptesh, nakapranda kaparekesh, e protosko to brandi gebalia, kapra kapara kotosko to brande gebale gebia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus come to an end now open your mouth and pray patterns it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your elder brother now it's happening to you patterns caused it by the god of heaven negative cycles every two two years someone must die every six six months someone must die caused it by the god of heaven patterns they don't stay in marriage patterns they don't give birth to children Cause it by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus. And the word of God I sanctify my dreams I sanctify my visions I sanctify my prophetic experiences no more manipulations no more wrong revelations open your mouth and pray pray declare sanctification the devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you the devil will not manipulate you with visions lying visions Please pray a few more minutes. Kaprenda kapereka tosko tu prekia. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male. Or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant I curse you now open your mouth and pray please pray open your mouth and pray every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you coming as a woman that sleeps with you coming as animals all kinds of demonic things curse them by the God of heaven Ebra kapereto soso soba kebrande kapa ekroto soto prete kelikata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. 
right now I declare anyone here who is a victim of causes right now at the count of three any cause sitting on your head apparatus sitting on your destiny causes that bring delay causes that bring failure causes at the count of three as you shout Jesus let that fire come bring them out right now one two three shout Jesus causes be broken now causes please help them whether you are an usher or not help them for sake of time causes every cause powered by an altar standing to destroy you I curse you by the God of heaven very quickly bring them out causes I'm arresting causes negative pronouncements hallelujah please quickly bring them now all of you listen to me I'm praying right now every altar connected to anyone every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now I'm telling you I'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire or oh, patash koteka bring them out altars catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire by the power of the holy ghost anatas katika teparakatos eprakatos kotus nekate palakatos yata I want to pray everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit you are living your life but you know this is another man's script by the power that raised Christ from the dead I declare in the name of Jesus be delivered now be delivered now hear me anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you knowingly or knowingly and that became the token of witchcraft every shrine where that thing is right now I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic I set it on fire now tokens and instruments of connection I set it on fire I set it on fire now I set it on fire now help that woman please I set it on fire now listen listen to me we're wrapping up a kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy but Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again. Whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you received, knowingly or unknowingly, that is being used as a token of manipulation, I pray for you, Koinonia, by the God who called me, be delivered now. Be delivered now be delivered now hear me everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive they sat on altars powering Satan and not allowing people to move there are whole villages and territories they renew their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open may the ground open 
and swallow them now bring them out please may the ground open and swallow them now the spirit of poverty of lack and hardship all of you are graduates but no job everybody with masters phd yet nothing to write home about father let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing I, I pray for you now may death leave you alone we are wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of Jesus I pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns the ones who open the womb they are the ones who become the the chief victims i pray for you here by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward i command it right now at the count of three may fire come upon that altar one two three take that fire now take that fire now the cause of firstborns i curse you right now the cause of firstborns i capatas kotebata i curse you right now hear me if you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family you are the first to be lifted to that level i pray for you in the name of jesus the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now two more prayers and we're done my goodness fire is burning in this place everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit whether it's your favor your job your lifting your children your relationships in the name of jesus this moment by the power of the name the blood and the word i declare a release now i announce a prophetic jubilee now in the name of jesus christ final prayer please place your hand on your head prophetically your head is a sign of your glory you'll be surprised at what will happen to you now I want to pray for you father you instructed that we do this I stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and I pray over your people the head of a man is a symbol of his glory I want to pray for you something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of Samson every spirit in the similitude of Delilah 
that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of jesus you will never go down again you will never go down again in the name of jesus we've overshot our time lift whatever communion if you came with any extra communion set for me to speak over we'll finish the balance of this next week during the miracle service but please lift whatever if you brought anything as a point of contact i just want to pray and speak over it for you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare all these communion sets that you are lifting in the name of jesus they are blessed as you take them with understanding they will no longer be ordinary bread and wafers but they will represent the power of god at work in your body let there be healing for you let there be total restoration there will be tears some testimonies as a result of this in the name of jesus christ amen and amen very quickly let me make the altar call our time is gone you are here and you are saying apostle even though it's time i need jesus it is true that i prayed it is true that i shouted amen it is true that i fell under the anointing we have just a minute for this and we're done thank you so much for your patience i cannot end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to come to jesus we have just one minute for you you are saying apostle i truly want to make it right with jesus or you are saying apostle my life has gone haywire i need the grace of god i need restoration wherever you are please leave your seat and come and stand right here i know that our time is gone let's clap for them as they come even if it is one person i know that someone needs to come to jesus don't be in a hurry going that you miss salvation jesus is calling you koinonia celebrate them they are coming to jesus all the overflows walk to your projector screen walk to your leds those who are in here keep coming run to jesus we have one minute for you but please run to jesus he wants to give you a new beginning this is what happens when we come to the house of god hallelujah are you coming quickly 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 please if you're coming come and stand as i lead you in this prayer my god look at these little children let's give them a big big god bless you hallelujah praise god thank you for making this bold decision can you lift your right hand high above your head those who are coming to join them join them very quickly say this loud and clear say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive eternal life into my spirit I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. I declare that I reign forever. From today and forever, I am a child of God, washed by the blood of Jesus, declared righteous by redemption in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for these ones. You have brought them out by your spirit. I declare that the grace that keeps will keep them. The grace that lifts will lift them. I declare that you begin a new walk. I commend you to the Holy Spirit and to the Word. You will begin a new journey with God, a journey that will only be from one victory to the other. Be blessed in Jesus' name I pray. Thank you very much for making this bold decision. May I request that you quickly move and join the counselors. Move to my right, which is your left. Let's celebrate them as they go. They will have a word with you very quickly. 
and then you'll return to your seats. Thank you so much for your patience. Next week will be our Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.